Uh, gravity snake out, gravity snake out, doing what snakes do. Slither in the grass, waiting for the next opportunity to backstab and to bite somebody in the ass. That's what you do. Mr. Each One Teach One, Mr. Positivity is all of a sudden back in the beef, right? Because once again, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Your numbers is doing awfully mighty good now since you're back into the beef sector of YouTube. <laughs> you just seen me doing good, didn't you, huh? You seen me getting them crazy donations. You seen me getting them views. You wanted a piece of the action, didn't you? You wanted a piece of the action. I know, I know, I know. I know you see me styling on you. You see me styling on you. <sighs> Gravity Snake out doing what he does best. Snake people. Now you little disrespectful pet poodle. You little disrespectful little ass nigga. Now, Carcino, I reacted to Carcino responding and giving his opinion. You know what? It's so crazy, right? So, Gravity Take Out, you are allowed to give your opinion and you don't expect nobody to give their opinion about your opinion. You know, this is YouTube, right? We can give, we are entitled to give our opinion to anybody. Just like how your whole ass gave your dumb ass opinion about me. Jumping out the window, loving jumping out the window, bumping your head on the wall. And you still haven't made an apology video. Still haven't made an apology video for falsely accusing me, for taking Sissy T's side for, for no reason, just jumping out the window, saying that my back to school supply was a scam and all this. But you ain't making no apology video, right? Because you a little boy. You still a little boy. You still wet behind the ears. You still got on foundation right now. <laughs> Do you feel pretty now? That you put on that foundation and that filter on your face? <laughs> What's your little disrespectful little pit bull? Quasino gave a respectful response back to you, right? Quasino gave a respectful response back to you. He didn't disrespect you. Just like how you say that you didn't disrespect Kwame Brown. Iron shopping iron, right? Just giving a little criticism, right? Just, you know, giving your opinion. So why are you so butthurt when Quasino gave his opinion about you? And you know why you butthurt? Because you called Quasino a name. You called him out his name. You called him a dog watcher. I watched Quasino's video. He didn't call you a nickname. He didn't give you a nickname. He didn't disrespect you. He didn't call you anything. He just respect respectfully gave his opinion about you. But now you want to start sneak dissing Carcino because you want to be in the beef. It sounds like you've been waiting on this moment. It sounds like there's some underlying jealousy. Some, I'm telling you, boy, this nigga hate anybody. <laughs> I see why you cool with Sister T and... um. Regina, because y'all some hating, bitter ass niggas. Y'all been waiting, waiting, salivating to go at people that Kwame rock with. That's all y'all do. Y'all attack people that rock with Kwame Brown. It's sad. But listen to the disrespect and the name calling at this old face, foundation wearing, lace front wearing. Bop, 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 boom, fruity, fruity. Looking ass nigga did. Fair use, y'all. So what's up, my people? Y'all have the like button if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you didn't already. <laughs> We're gonna talk about Corsino, call me. Oh, I'm gonna respond to Corsino. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're gonna get into it. <laughs> now, Corsino, you started your live stream off by saying you done seen it all before. And you know, uh, the people that say, you know, I don't try to be offensive and then offend you. You know, that's exactly what you did. Because that's exactly what you did. You saying that. You say that you don't want to offend them, but then you offend them. Hey, I don't mean no disrespect, but I'm about to disrespect you. That's just literally what you did. That is like giving a backhanded compliment. Do you know what that means, giving a backhanded compliment? Yeah, that's exactly what you did. 
you responded to the video too felt as though somehow I offended Kwame. Uh, you know, I don't. Somebody show me where my video that I tried to offend Kwame. You know, I I said plenty of times in the video, it's respect. I appreciate what you done for this. I respect you, bro. But let me disrespect you. No disrespect. But let me disrespect you, nigga. You's a double talking hoe ass nigga. God damn, boy. Your Keisha is showing. Everybody see your Keisha, boy. You's a double talking. Backstabbing ass dagger. This platform, so on and so forth. This is what I see. This is my opinion on me. You gotta take it. This is my opinion, bro. You're a grown man. You can do what you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know it's amazing to me that I can make all these videos in support of whoever. But if I disagree, then I'm then I'm trying to be offensive. Hmm. <laughs> it's funny how the table turns, huh? It's funny how the table turns. Cause I could I could have sworn I did the same thing, right? I made all positive Kwame videos. Then the one video I disagree. You make a video about me. Tables are turning now, huh? Ah. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't. I watched you know a little bit of Kwame's live stream. I try to watch as much as I could. Um, I don't even see nowhere in his video that he said I tried to offend him. He just said he fucked his all left some things out, and that's that man's opinion. Like I said, no, that's not an opinion. That's a fact. See, boy, you still wet behind the ears. Kwame did not give his opinion. Kwame stated a fact. Learn the difference, boy. Each one teach one. You's a dumb, smart nigga. It sounds like you know what you're talking about, but you don't know what the hell you talking about. What Kwame said was facts. You didn't tell the whole story. You left out certain things just to run with your false narrative. So Kwame didn't give his opinion. He stated a fact because you did leave out information. <laughs> Dumbass nigga. It is simplified as first down. I meant to talk about the man for five minutes. You know, I, I didn't I don't do three, I ain't do a three-hour live stream on. I'ma do a three-hour live stream on you. Show me the money! I'm sure gonna do a three-hour live stream on you. And I'm gonna put your ass in that corner and, I, and I'm gonna make you work for me. <laughs> I miss you working the blocks for me. I miss you working the blocks for me. Come back. Come back. I'm about to pimp your ass again, boy. <laughs> Two hour live stream or no, I, I didn't get into it like that, bro. I just simplified the things I seen. And I one thing I know is in life, you know, I'm talking oh, real world. Oh, here we go again. In life. Follow me, people. Follow me. In real life. Pay attention to me. Nigga, shut up. In the real world, you a snake, nigga. In the real world, you a whole ass nigga. In the real world, you go to the mall and your favorite store is Mac. Why you got a Mac membership right now? Why you got on foundation number three right now? And number four, and number five. Blush, eyeshadow. <laughs> you know, the true friends are gonna tell you some things that may make you uncomfortable a little bit. But they just stand out a little bit, tell you some things that maybe you should take with you, or if you don't, you're a grown person. Cool, at least I told you as a friend, right? And we just gonna call it uh, YouTube Associates, right? A person to sit around and just agree with everything. Something wrong with that picture. You Corsino, you coming to you coming to rescue like a I guess you a yard dog or something. Live uh, stream. Come here to put your hands on. Oh oh shit. Um, oh oh shit. My my bad. My bad. My bad. Damn. Get your bitch ass out the face, nigga. Man, get your get your. Yeah, there you go. Look at goofy ass nigga. So you gonna call this nigga a yard dog? I mean, you gonna call Corsino a yard dog? So you you gonna call him out his name, right? You just gonna call him out his name and call him a yard dog. So now you're gonna disrespect him and now you're gonna go to disrespecting him, alright? Listen to him. Follow me, follow me. Each one teach one. Right? A person to sit around and just agree with everything. Something wrong with that picture. You Corsino, you come in the, you come in the rescue like a I guess you a yard dog or something. Wow. Uh, you come here and put your input on it, but you trying to throw jabs out there as if I'm offending the man. So you wasn't throwing jabs at Kwame? So you wasn't throwing jabs at Kwame. So now you mad because somebody else is doing the same thing to you. Corsino throwing jabs at you, you was throwing jabs at Kwame. Well, I'll be damned. Boy, this a whole ass nigga right here, boy. This a whole ass nigga. Um, a true friend wouldn't be sitting around telling him, yeah, man, it's just you doing everything right. You know, it's just you two the one that's pulling your numbers down. I said I heard your live stream where you said, you know, you two do things and they're gonna pull all his numbers down. And I'll listen, man. Uh again, it's just my humble opinion. I don't want nobody around me in my life 
to just agree with things that we know this you know maybe it is but it's, it's also a chance that people may just be bored with the content people may and why you didn't hit him behind the scene right because your whole big deal about me was i should have hit him behind the scene if i disrespected him double talking bitch ass nigga get your hand out, out of my pocket looking ass nigga bean pie selling ass nigga maybe tired of you talking about these particular people you know they they, they want they might want to see uh something different they might want to see some you know the page evolving other than i'm not talking i'm talking in life in general nigga shut up nigga i'm talking about in life in general why do you got foundation on your gut why are you wearing lip gloss nigga <laughs> and i'm the gay one <laughs> You know, too many times you have people around you. We have people around us that just agree with everything because we the breadwinner, because we the man of the house, because we, you know, we the brother that everybody goes to. So they disagree with everything. As if our perspective can be kind of off center at times. Like I said, it ain't Kwame. You can do what you want to do, bro. It's your platform. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to tell you how to run nothing. Your platform, your way. But when I see what Kwame. Yo, don't this nigga, bro, I swear, bro, this nigga sound like he need a black suit on with the. <laughs> Don't this nigga sound like one of the Muslim niggas that be like preaching and shit? Say, my brother. How you doing, my brother? <laughs> this bean pie eating ass nigga, boy. Hey, man, go take your ass back to God. <laughs> oh, hold on. My ear hurt. <laughs> my damn earring hurt, making my ear hurt. Bro, this, don't this sound like one of the Muslim bean pie eating ass niggas, man? <laughs> Go wear that suit and go work that corner, nigga. Set them bean pies, nigga. Barcino was saying, and I'm looking at the whole scenario, and I'm just watching things in its entirety. If you took offense to that, then you just wanted to take offense to that. Because at the end of the day, it was nothing offensive about it. Just... You was throwing shots, nigga. You were throwing little jabs. You was sneak dissing. You was sneak dissing Kwame, nigga. You was sneak dissing. You was respectfully sneak dissing. This gave my opinion, and like I said, three, four, five, six times. Hey man, salute to you. I appreciate you know what you did on this platform, so on and so forth. I just think that you know, just being a fan of this situation. Nah, I just, remove me knowing or having any type of dialogue back and forth with anybody. Just me, somebody to sit back on the outside. It may be some things that people want to see different on my page, and I respect it. You know, just you know, the same way I just said the things I agree with. You know, just this. I just wanted to say, hey bro, you know what I'm saying? You might want to you know read whatever. You don't have to take it. You know, you could have did that behind the scenes, right? Right, 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 right. You don't have to agree with it. You can say whatever, throw it to the wayside, and move on with your world. You know, run your platform the way you want to run it. But at the end of the day, I said once, I said again, and I stand on. True enough, it is other things like people putting narratives out there. You know, you know, I'm, people put lies yeah. out there. We're just talking yeah. in general. People yeah. do different things to help pull the numbers down. But at the same time, we can't sit here and act like YouTube is the reason why a person is losing all these subscribers or lost 30,000 subs or whatever. We can't sit here and just say it's only YouTube and I look yeah. ourselves in the mirror. Accountability or self accountability it ain't about nobody else. Holding you accountable. I'm just talking in life. We ain't talking YouTube. Mm. More jabs. More jabs. More jabs. More jabs. You little disrespectful ass nigga. Disrespectful ass nigga. Mm -mm. Stay with me. And your real world. You know, sometimes we gotta look ourselves in the mirror and say, how can I be better? What, what, what can I prove that? You know, how can I make sure I make today better than yesterday? Man, shut up, nigga. I don't want your bean pie, nigga. Shut up! And I hope y'all do that in y'all world, man. As I, pray, as I pray, I can do it in my world. And we do it, and hopefully everybody can be the best version of themselves. But you, you, of course, you know, the way you try to take it, bro, and the way you try to paint that picture and sway that narrative, I, I get what you're trying to do, homie. you making it as if, you know, uh, I've seen these people come around, and they, I don't mean to be pissed, but then they disrespect you. What did I disrespect anybody? Each one, teach one. Ah, uh, but is it, is it just me, bro? Is it just me or this nigga is just stupid? You consistently jump out the window every single time. You constantly uh, contradict yourself every single time. You say that you're done with beef. You come back. You come right to the beef. Each one teach one, but you don't teach shit. All you do is make videos. You ain't teaching nobody nothing, nigga. If you look at the comment section, many people agree, bro. It's just a shame. It's just a shame that you know people have no type of friends on their team that they just agree with anything. 
So much so you sit here and agree with a man that you know just be, it just it ain't no nothing you doing wrong. It's just only you two the reason why your numbers is coming down because you said I offended this man or insinuated I offended this man. And this man didn't even say I, he didn't even say I, I offended him. That's crazy because you made a big deal about me giving Kwame advice. You made a big deal about me disagreeing with Kwame, but yet you go and do the same thing that I did. Make that make sense. He just said that he felt as though I left some things out. You know, what can I say? At the end of the day, it's just my opinion. Man, I wish y'all well, bro. At the end of the day, it ain't, it ain't meant to be something I'm going to sit around and go back and forth about. It's my opinion. I don't need the yard, y'all. I don't need the help. I was Damn. speaking to the man, and I was hoping. Damn. Hold oh, on. Man, get this bitch ass nigga, man. Get your whole ass up. So, you going to double down and call him a yard dog again? Hold on. Let me see you going to double down and disrespect this man and call this man a name again. You gonna call him a yard dog again? You just gonna just flat out call him out of his name, disrespect him when he respected you. He didn't call you out your name. Tell you, boy, this nigga love beef. This is the fakest. These are the niggas that y'all need to stay away from because you don't know what the, this nigga is a chameleon there. A two faced, double talking ass nigga. <laughs> Why'd you have to call him a yard dog? He didn't disrespect you. He didn't call you out your name, but you're going to call him a yard dog. I offended him. He just said that he felt as though I left some things out. You know, what can I say? At the end of the day, it's just my opinion. Listen. Man, I wish y'all well, bro. At the end of the day, it ain't, it ain't meant to be something I'm going to sit around and go back and forth about. It's my opinion. I don't need the yard dog. I don't need the help. I was speaking to the man, and I was hoping he would take it for whatever's working. If he don't, then hey, we all mean at the end of the day, it ain't my platform, ain't my way. Each one. Man, shut your whole ass up, nigga. Once again. Proving my, proving my point. You can't trust anything what this nigga say. This nigga talk a good game, but he don't walk a good game. You need to learn how to take your own advice, nigga. Just shut up. Stick to, stick to news and gossip and shit. Stay out of this shit. Don't, don't give nobody advice because you don't even take your own advice, nigga. You don't even take your own advice. So, nigga, just shut up. <laughs> Go back to your news and all that goofy shit that you do. But let me guess. When your views get low, when nobody watching your dumb ass videos, you're going to come back here and you're going to start some shit and then you're going to go back. So you dip in and out. You dip in and out. Man, you's a bitch ass nigga, man. <laughs> Flame your dumb ass. Carcino. You, you know what I mean? I have no problem with Carcino. I, I'm sure Carcino don't like all my videos because, you know, I'm I'm a different type of person. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no beef with Carcino. I mean, and I'm sure Carcino don't have no beef with me. We just, you know, do our thing. But don't let this nigga disrespect you, Carcino. Don't let this nigga call you a yard dog. This nigga called you a yard dog. Man, don't let this whole ass nigga disrespect you like that, man. Anyway, it's your boy, DMD. Y'all leave a comment down below. Tell you, boy, this, these are the niggas that y'all need to watch out from. These positive people. Each one teach one. Uplift the black community. But these be the same ones that want to uplift the black community and bring them down at the same time. These are the jealous, bitter, hating ass niggas that y'all need to watch out back from. Ho ass nigga. It's your boy, Damn D. I'm signing out. Peace.